up guys welcome back to the channel or if you're brand new here what's up i am jen today i am sharing a what's for dinner video with you guys as you can tell clearly from the title i haven't posted one of these in forever um but i did film some dinners over the course of the last few months i don't know the first couple dinners are from like some months ago that i had filmed and then i wasn't really posting what's for dinners that much anymore and then the last couple ones are more recent but i figured why not go ahead they all still are applicable and you could change it to whatever way of eating that you are they're more keto than low carb some um, I, I think maybe the last two on it have been from the low carb cut i forget now that i'm even doing this intro but it's still all yummy easy dinners you guys know like easy delicious is my go-to so they are all pretty quick dinners and they are all delicious but i figured why let the footage go to waste and also last weekend you guys know that i went on vacation and then once i got back i did not meal prep for this week so normally a meal prep video would would be going up this weekend but i figured i have all these what's for dinners already filmed why not just go ahead and post it for you guys so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the dinners here's what we have going on tonight guys i am making some chicken and veggie kebabs i have my kebab sticks over here and i have a bunch of chicken breasts here that i cubed up in here i have a bunch of onions and peppers that i cut up earlier and just threw some avocado oil on with some of the complete seasoning and that's what i put on the chicken also avocado oil complete seasoning which i use the rest of it chopped onion flakes and some of the badia chili and lime seasoning also going to throw some mushrooms in there and then once i have them made up i'm going to brush some of my favorite the primal kitchen hawaiian barbecue sauce on top and toss them in the oven all right so i have the kebabs all made up here no rhyme or reason just kind of stuck everything on there i have a little bit left of the pineapple that i'm going to kind of probably just sprinkle over it i'm going to also brush it with this hawaiian barbecue sauce like i was telling you i just am going to brush some on the top i'm going to pop them in the oven at 400 for probably about 15 10 or 15 minutes i'm going to check them and then i'm going to hit them on broil for a couple minutes sauce is on and they already look and smell amazing in the oven they're going all right so here is dinner all plated up and looking absolutely the bomb.com there's the kebabs pulled out of the oven oh it's steaming up and looking awesome just paired it with a sweet potato and some peas because it is cyclical keto day for me so super excited i am going to add a little more of the primal kitchen hawaiian barbecue sauce on top and can't wait to enjoy this oh and i also forgot to tell you guys that i was adding pineapple chunks on these so I have a few pieces of pineapple throughout there too. I just got pineapple chunks like in the can and I put those on the kebabs as well. And I don't think I mentioned that earlier in the video. So this will be dinner tonight. Tonight's dinner could not be more simple. I got a pack of pork chops from Aldi's. They're super thin pork chops. They cook really quick. I lined this baking sheet with some parchment paper, put avocado oil on them, some Badia Complete Seasoning, and chopped onion flakes. I'm going to throw them in the oven at 400, probably about 20, 25 minutes. You know I like them crispy, so I'll check them. And then I'm going to just heat up some sides really quick to go with it, and literally in a few minutes, dinner will be ready. So here's dinner all plated up. I just made some cauliflower mash with the immersion blender added salt pepper and some bacon bits that i had cooked up in the fridge and then i also just made up the power blend on the side just sauteed it with some avocado oil the pork chops were in the oven for 20 minutes cooking at 400 and then i just turned it off and let them sit in there because everybody wasn't ready to eat yet so they got nice and crispy they are super thin so they don't take long at all to cook so literally this whole dinner took like less than 30 minutes and it is absolutely delish so another super quick and easy dinner tonight i have four pieces of tilapia here they're still partially frozen which is fine throw them on some parchment paper sprayed avocado oil down there and then just covered them in complete seasoning pretty liberally and did avocado oil on top and then did the seasoning it'll make like a nice crust and it'll be awesome popping it in the oven at 400 probably about 20 minutes or so and then i will check them and then i'm just going to heat up some broccoli and leftover kali mash on the side so i will show you when i pull this out and plate everything up just pulled these babies out of the oven they were in there for 20 minutes and then i did broil for like two minutes just because i like everything crispy and then just paired it with the broccoli and cauliflower mash this has bacon in it that i made up yesterday i think so super easy this came together in no time at all and it's going to be delicious and tonight 
I am doing super quick and easy dinner, just all on a sheet pan right in the oven. I have six boneless, skinless chicken breasts here that I have covered with some of these chopped onion flakes and Batia Complete Seasoning. Of course, I sprayed some of this Chosen Foods avocado oil spray on top of them then just did the seasonings i'm going to add a little more to the carrots i'm using these bolt house farms organic baby rainbow carrots that i get from walmart just put them all on the pan together i'm going to throw them in the oven at 400 for about 30 minutes and then i'll check them and add some of this primal kitchen teriyaki sauce all over them and then pop them back in for probably another 10 minutes or so and then i'll show you when i'm pulling them out Okay, so this has been in the oven for exactly 30 minutes. I just pulled it out. I'm getting ready to cover it all in the Primal Kitchen teriyaki sauce and then pop it back in for probably about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, I'll check it. So I ended up putting it in the oven about 15 more minutes and then I hit broil just for a couple minutes to crisp it up on top. Just plated it up, paired it with some cauliflower mash here that I put some of this organic ghee that I get from Thrive chopped onion flakes, salt, pepper, complete seasoning, and parsley. Then I just mix it up with my immersion blender right in this measuring cup. And I made a couple bags just so I'd have leftover and already have it prepped up in the fridge. And added a little bit of the teriyaki sauce right on the chicken. And it is looking and smelling absolutely delicious. Okay, so here's what we have going on for dinner tonight, guys. I have two packs of these center cut pork chops that I get from Aldi's that I absolutely love. And I'm getting ready to drudge them up and fry them in some avocado oil. In my little drudging station here, I have two eggs with a splash of water that I beat together. And I'll be coating it in this mixture here. I have a little bit of almond flour, some dried onion flakes, pork rinds, Parmesan cheese, and Batia Complete Seasoning. I use these pork rinds here, or any pork rinds, it doesn't matter. I just take them and blend them up. This is my immersion blender, and this little attachment came with it. It blends them up perfectly. This is the almond flour that I used chopped onion flakes, Batia Complete Seasoning, and Parmesan cheese. Just gonna mix that up, drudge the pork chops in these, put it over here on this parchment paper, and then I'll just put a little bit of avocado oil in my pan and I will brown them up and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I have the pork chops all breaded here, for lack of a better term, coated, breaded, whatever the word is I'm looking for. Have them ready. Now I just put like a little bit of avocado oil in the bottom of the pan, just enough to like coat it on the bottom. Now it's heating up, I'm going to brown these. And then when they are mostly cooked through, I'm gonna pull them out and put them to the side and then start the next step. Okay, so I have half of them done. I've just put them on a plate over there just to rest while I finish up the second batch. And I just flipped these, they're almost done. But I'm gonna go ahead now and just throw my cut up onions and mushrooms. I only had a half of a yellow onion, which is fine, that I'm gonna throw in there. And then I had one of these little containers of the sliced mushroom. And I just did a super rough chop because my husband's not like real big on mushrooms and that way they'll be bigger and they don't they can pick them out if they don't want them. So I'm just gonna throw those right in the middle and start sauteing them up. Okay, so most of the fat rendered out once I started sauteing the veggies. So I threw a little bit of this organic ghee that I get from Thrive Market. This stuff, oh, if I can hold it, is absolutely delicious. Like, I'm obsessed with this stuff. I need to order more already. And then I did add some more of the complete seasoning and the onion flakes. Now these are sauteed down a little bit. And now I'm going to add some heavy whipping cream. I would rather add coconut cream to this and I do have some, but I only have a little bit of this heavy cream left and I need to use it up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this for the sauce. Add the cream in there and then I'm gonna add the pork chops back in and cover it and let them cook for maybe another 15, 20 minutes or so. And then I have some seasoned mixed greens over here on the side heat. All right, and here's this awesomeness all plated up, and I wish you guys could smell it and taste it. I just had one of those mushrooms. That sauce is like the bomb.com. I had some cauliflower mash already made up, so that was super easy just to heat up. Then I heated up the mixed greens there and threw a little parsley on top. And there is an absolutely awesome dinner. I'll let you guys know how it is. So here's what we have going on for dinner tonight. I think I might have shown this in a what's for dinner video like a long, long while back because we haven't had it in forever. But I am making Reuben sandwiches. I think I did them like open faced because I normally don't eat bread. However, today is a carb up day for me and I am going to be eating bread. So I'm going to be making a sandwich in full 
but I have some Havarti deli sliced cheese here and then boar's head top round corned beef here. That's what I'm going to be using for my sandwiches. I have a jar of some German style sauerkraut, which is what I am heating up here. Just going to toss it through with some of this Badia Complete seasoning, heat it through really good. And then here I have some onions just sauteing down. I usually do these together, the onions and the sauerkraut but I'm weighing and tracking my food and it's just easier to do it separate. But you could saute the onions first, get them a little translucent, then add your sauerkraut in, cook it together, and then throw it on the sandwich and you're good to go. But I'm gonna get these both going and then I'll show you the next part. So I've sauteed my onions up exactly how I want them. The sauerkraut is heated through and cooked perfectly. Now I'm just gonna build the sandwiches. This is the bread I'm using. It's freshly sprouted sourdough made with organic sprouted wheat. If you're going to do bread, organic sprouted wheat is the best way to go. This one has super clean ingredients. Here's the nutrition facts for this as well as the ingredients. Absolutely amazing. Got this from Whole Foods. It is a bread that you keep in the freezer. So I pulled out as many as we were going to need for tonight earlier and just let them thaw in a Ziploc bag on the counter. Now I have my corned beef, my Havarti cheese here, weighing it all up and I'm just going to build the sandwiches. Did cheese on each side of the bread, then loaded the corned beef, sauerkraut, onions, Thousand Island dressing. Now we're closing them up. Perfectly green. Sandwiches here absolutely looking amazing have sauerkraut on there some grilled onions have already cheese this is the thousand island dressing that i used zero net carbs fat free sugar free gluten free all the free things this is walden farms got this at publix Okay, so here's the recipe that everybody has been asking me about on Instagram and on YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and film it for our what's for dinner. This is the butternut squash ground turkey skillet that I made. I will link the original uh, recipe that I got the inspiration from down below, but I did switch a few things up. So this is what you'll need. I am using two things of ground turkey. Now, mind you, this made a ton of leftovers so the hubby could take some to work for lunch or we can have it for a second night or whatever. And it was awesome as leftovers as well. So I I have two packs of the farm to family ground turkey. This is 93% lean, 7% fat. I have two bags of the frozen butternut squash. These are 10 ounces a piece. I have my onions and my peppers weighed up here. And I have 96 grams of the onion and 120 grams of the bell pepper, but you could add as much or as little as you want of that. That's just what I had on hand, so that's what I'm adding to it. I created a recipe on Carb Manager with all the exact measurements on there. And then I am using some of this specific organic vegetable broth. This is the cleanest, best ingredient one that I can find. I got this from Walmart. I'm using some of these inspired organics um, black beans that I got from Whole Foods and the macros on this are like spot on. 90 calories a serving which there's three servings in this can and then one gram fat, one net carb, and seven gram protein. So super awesome. I haven't tried this brand before so I'll let you guys know how it is. And then of course complete seasoning because I add that to everything. Chopped onion flakes and and then I'm just going to spray a little bit of this in the bottom of the pan when I start browning up the veggies and the meat. And then I will kind of just add stuff together and I'll show you as we go. Y'all, I am literally the worst right now at vlogging. I softened the veggies down first and browned up the turkey meat. And now I had just finished that and I just dumped in the two bags of the butternut squash and the can of beans. And now I'm just going to mix it in just for a second and get it all well incorporated. And then I'm going to dump in the vegetable broth. I have 253 milliliters here of the vegetable broth. I'm going to dump that in and then turn it down to low and cover it and let it cook for 10, 12 minutes. It'll probably be about 15, 20 minutes till my husband's home. So I'll just keep it on low until then. So here is the final product all plated up. This is superthebomb.com. You guys have got to try this. I paired it with some broccoli that I just steamed in the microwave really quick. And then I topped it with some of this sweet poppy sauce. I just got this in the mail today from Gaines Bakery. They are a company out of Texas. This stuff is like so bomb. But just put some of that on the broccoli. Paired it. This is one and a half servings of this turkey skillet, and it is absolutely looking and smelling the bomb.com. All right, guys, that's a wrap for this What's for Dinner video. Let me know down below if you guys want me to maybe do one of these one weekend and then do a meal prep the following weekend. I'm going to keep doing the meal preps through the low carb cut. 
just with tracking and everything that just keeps me on plan and successful and makes life easier. This week I did not meal prep and it was definitely a bit more tricky and if you guys have caught my recent vlogs or grocery hauls or any of those recent videos then you guys will know but if you haven't definitely be looking out for the vlog posting on Tuesday go check out my last grocery haul I talked more about it there just hot mess express with coming off vacation trying to play catch up get back into routine then wasn't feeling the best through the week anyway so it has just been like all kinds of stuff but no matter what I wanted to go ahead and get a video up for you guys so again like I said why not go ahead and post these what's for dinners just remember that the first few dinners are from like way back when and then the last dinners are more recent the turkey skillet I think is the most recent video and you guys have got to try that it is absolutely delicious let me know down below if you guys do try it or if you make any other variations or if you have something close to that that you make that you love I would love for you to share it with me also because you know we're always looking for new dinners to throw in the rotation so let me know down below any new ones that you guys have or if you're gonna try any of these out if you guys do enjoy these videos let me know down below that also and I might pop one in maybe once a month or something I don't know we'll see how it goes but definitely let me know down below and if you do enjoy it make sure to give it a thumbs up that helps me out and I appreciate it more than you guys know if you are brand new here I would love it if you'd subscribe become part of the YouTube crew here make sure your notifications are clicked that way you'll get notified every time I upload a new video because if not YouTube will not put it in your feed so make sure that you guys have your notifications clicked and you aren't missing out on any of the videos coming up we are coming close to the end of the low carb cut can't wait to see the results absolutely loving this way of eating and if you have no idea what I'm even talking about definitely make sure that you check out some of the recent vlogs I will link some up in the i cards as well as down below and if you aren't following me on Instagram make sure to hit me up over there at in with Jen over there as well and again thank you guys so very much for watching and I will catch y'all in the next video mm -hmm.